back with the Princess Kitten Rescue. Uh, today is the day of reviews. We've had a lot of snow. Not really. We've had a quarter of an inch. It's gone now, um, but it's snow to us, so everybody was off. Um, I'm going to reshoot my videos. Um, I said in one of my, my other reviews that while I got my other camera to work, my SD card is just giving me a fit and I'm not able to actually get the information. So, um, but I was able to figure out how to do it on my phone, so yay for me. We're going to review um, the Blink XT home security camera system. That's what we're going to do right now. So, um, we're going to do the unboxing. I already have the system working in our home, this one we are adding uh, to the office. While I would love to give you live shots from my phone, I am back recording with my phone. I can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, but I do have some still shots of what the film footage looks like physically from my cameras off of my phone. So these are not images that I'm getting off of line from somebody else. These are actual images coming from my XT Blink cameras. So know what you're getting. Um, I did a couple of the shots that you could see some of um, some of the information that's on the phone when you get the app on how to use it and things of that nature. So we'll insert those videos um, in certain places. I don't know exactly where I'm going to insert them, but there will be some still shots that will be inserted into this video um, as well so that you guys can kind of see how that works. So let's get to unboxing. We're going to push the camera down so you guys can see what we're doing. Yay. All right. Okay. So this is basically how it comes. I bought mine off of eBay. I will put the link below from the store that I purchased this one. Again, this is the second, the second system that we bought. We bought a two camera system both times. So this is physically what comes in the box when you buy the two cameras. You will get the two cameras. That's one. That's two. So these are the two mounting cameras. You will get the sync module. And watch when you order these because a lot of times when you see them really inexpensive, they're only selling the sync module. Because if this thing breaks, you can actually buy just this, okay? But make sure that you're getting a system and not just, not just the sync. But this is the sync that comes with it. The reason I took it out of this is because this doesn't come with it and I'll show you here in a second. Um, it generally comes with all the batteries, although I only see two in here. Oh, there's the other two. Okay, it comes with four batteries uh, because you need two, two for each camera. So here's two of them. The other two are down in here. Uh, it comes with a really super long cord, which is what this is. It's a really long version of this, okay? So I'm not going to open that up and get those out of there because I think it's just um, unnecessary for us to, to, to do that. Um, but that's basically what comes with. So you've got the two cameras and you have the syncing model. This is what basically talks to the cameras and this is what hooks up to your Wi-Fi. So you need to have decent Wi-Fi. Let me come back up here and talk to you for a second. Um, I watched some reviews, or actually I watched, I looked at some reviews after I bought the, the camera system, but I, I had noticed that there were quite a few bad reviews, really, to be honest with you, concerning the system where people were talking about how the camera would just intermittently go in and out, um, the quality wasn't very good, they were having trouble getting it hooked up, things of that nature. I don't know, I'm not an actual tech person, but here's my opinion. Um, you need to have a really good internet if you want to use things like this. The more things you have hooked up to your internet, the slower it basically goes. So you really need to have a good router along with decent internet. You know, if you're getting crappy internet and it takes you forever, you know, to log into stuff, this camera probably isn't gonna work for you very well. Um, we actually have a pretty good hookup here, um, but we also have a very powerful router. I mean, the router that I have is some kind of a gaming router it's above my pay grade, so I don't really know, but it's ginormous. I mean, the thing literally umbrellas the entire neighborhood. It's like all the way down the end of the, the, the street, down the bottom of the hill before my Wi-Fi let, lets go. So I have really good Wi-Fi. That may be part of the reason some people are having trouble. Our cameras work. I've had absolutely zero issue with any of it. Um, they don't intermittently shut off. 
Um, if I look at them live, it's fine. And yes, you can actually look into these cameras live. You can have it take snapshots. You can have it take video. Um, the videos can go as long as 25 seconds. The longer you make them go, the faster your batteries will die, and they'll, they'll tell you that, basically. So, um, and you can look in live and see what's going on at the moment. So it's, it's a really good system. So that's what comes in this box. That's all that comes in this box, okay? You still need a mounting system to actually hang the cameras. I went one step further and I bought this. This is actually the mounting system for your sink. Your sink plugs into an outlet, okay? Um, so that it has constant power. I'm not dealing with batteries. I don't know if this thing even has batteries, but I'm not dealing with it. Um, so this hooks in, this goes into one that goes into a plug and then you just plug it into your wall. Well, if you put it in this, it will sit flush up against your wall like that. So it's very clean and very neat. Um, the one I have here is actually in my kitchen. It's in my plug over there. And it just sits up very neatly up against the wall. So this one is for the office. I don't know exactly where it is I'm going to put it, but I have to put it somewhere so little Chunk Monk can't actually get her little chubby fingers on it because she likes to play with cord. She's at that age. So, um, you know, and it just snaps in. Let me snap it in this way. There we go. It only snaps in one way, so it snaps in. Um, and you just plug that basically into the wall. That's all that comes with this part of it. You still need to be able to mount the cameras wherever it is that you're planning on putting them. So here's what we did. Let me open up the one that I've done because I've ordered two of them. So I'm going to open them with the one that I've already opened. Um, there's a couple of different mounting, well, actually, there's more than a couple. There's tons of different mounting systems that you can purchase um, for the Blink XT. Um, they have some that, you know, they fit inside a cradle and it's got, you know, literally like a little roof that goes on top of it and covers it up. These are waterproof and I can attest these are waterproof because the one in the front of my house is actually underneath the overhang over my porch. So it doesn't really get any weather to it. The one in my back though is wide open to everything. There's no cover, there's no nothing. It's just mounted to the side of my house. Way up high where nobody can touch it. Um, but it gets full weather and it's fine. So they are waterproof. Um, the ones that I got are these. I got them also off of eBay. I will try to find the link to that as well and put that on there. I think I paid $8 for three of these. Yeah, so they're downright cheap. Basically how they work is you have the bottom that you mount wherever it is that you're going to mount. It looks like this. You mount it up like that, okay? Screws go in there. Mount it wherever it is that you wanna go. Doesn't matter what the angle is because that's where this basically comes in. Once it's mounted up, then you take the end that has um, the screw end to it, you just screw it on, okay? Once it's on, this end mounts in to the back of your camera right there. It just locks in, you just push it. And then once you move this, because it will go 360 degrees, you move this to wherever it is you want your camera to be, and then you just tighten this down where it doesn't move. That's all there is to it. This is the only part that I didn't do because I don't mount stuff, so the prints had to do that. Everything else, I had all the cameras and I had everything set up on my own by myself. The first thing that you'll basically do when you get the cameras is you'll open up the boxes and it will, there's, I think there's a user thing in here somewhere, um, but it tells you to download the app on your phone. from Blink, and Blink is an Amazon product. So when you download the app, once you get the app in there, you'll create an account, that's part of downloading the app, so that it basically knows who you are, and it literally will walk you through step by step how to turn your cameras on, literally. Like, just do what it says, and you'll be fine. Basically what happens is, as you push down on this, on this gray button right here, and you lift this open, you do that, put your batteries in, before you close it, either write down the serial number that's on here because you will need it, or don't put the back on until you get the cameras going, one or the other, because you don't want to have to keep taking this on and off. It's not the easiest thing in the world to get off, I'm just going to tell you. But it will run you through the whole gamut of what it is that you're basically supposed to do. When you get to the point where it says, hey, you know, make sure, and it will tell you, don't, you know, don't put your camera in a place where, um, you know, it's angled, where it catches the road so that cars are driving back and forth because it'll make your motion sensor go crazy and that's all you'll do is constantly 
record, which is not something you want to do. You want to make sure you put it in a place where there isn't any tree limbs that are going to roll in front of it. Um, you don't want to point it to where the sun is directly going to hit into it because you'll get crappy video is basically what they're trying to tell you. And this, it all says this on here as you're doing it. Like, It literally walks you through the entire thing. Um, you want to catch the motion that's coming up to the area you're trying to record. You don't want to necessarily catch everything else unless you just happen to want to angle one out towards the road where you can see cars coming and going. But you're going to burn your batteries up, I'm just telling you. That's kind of how that's going to work. Um, but it works really super well. Once you get the cameras turned on and hooked up, Again, I'll insert photos somewhere around here, um, what they look like, and I'll see if I can manage a voiceover. I haven't done voiceover yet, um, but we'll try and see what happens with that. But I took some screenshots, again, like I said, to show you what the actual video looks like that we're getting. The video is pretty high quality. I'm super happy with it. I'm going to call this a mid-range security system. Um, mid-range being it's somewhere around, you know, $195 and it can go all the way up to $300 for a two camera system. It just depends on how well you shop. Um, eBay seems to be the least expensive place to pick these things up. Um, but again, read the descriptions, make sure you know what it is that you're getting. This one I got a little less than the first one. I think I paid $196 for this one with free shipping. Um, and it, it literally will pop up the other things. Hey, if you forgot them, but like I said, I'll put the mounts um, and the sync mount in the description bar below. So that way, if you guys are interested, you can pick those up as well. Uh, is it a good system? Yeah, it's it's a good system. I, I really honestly don't have anything bad to say about it. You don't have any monthly monitoring fees with this. It just does the app on your phone. It's, it's pretty simple. It literally will give you a drop down cascade bar. If you actually have your phone in your hand and you're using your phone at the time, um, it will give a drop down bar and say, hey, your motion sensor was tripped at your front door. You have, you have a clip and it will basically tell you, go look at the motion clip. It, I mean, it's super simple. I don't have my phone in my face 24 seven, uh, but I can pick my phone up at any time and I can check to see if there happens to be any files in there. There either are or there aren't. You can share them, you can download them. Um, there's all different kinds of things that you can do with, or you just delete them if you, if you don't need um, whatever the videos are. You can just delete them off. I don't save anything in the cloud. I think you can tell it how much to save or how long to save it. I pretty much try to keep it empty. I check it several times a day if we're not home and I just try to empty out whatever is unnecessary. It doesn't need to, to be there. I don't think there's any reason to have to go through that once a week. Um, so it's just like me cleaning out my email and everything else. I just go through and check that and make sure that there's no issue and there's nothing that I need to save. Um, but it's a really it's a good system. Like I would recommend this to anybody. I'm just going to say is read your description bars, know what you're buying. Make sure if you want an outdoor camera, you're buying the XT. And if you want an indoor camera, you're buying just the straight blink. The blink is a little bit less than the XT. I'm not saying that you couldn't use the outdoor for the indoor, but you can't use the indoor for the outdoor. You know what else, you know what else going? Um, all the outdoors are black. And my understanding is all the indoors are white. You can add as many cameras as you want to. I haven't found anything that has limited me on how many cameras we're allowed to add to this. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. I, I don't think that I am, but if I am, absolutely please, please tell me for sure. Hey, since you're there, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and give me a big old thumbs up. Everybody out there knows we're trying to get monetized. We're trying to help the kitties. Um, and take some of the financial burden off of me to save said kitties. So if you haven't already done it, please subscribe to my channel. The kitties, thank you very much indeed. If you liked the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Lord knows you don't want to miss any of my videos. You never know what you're going to get. It's kind of like a box of chocolates. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think I'm going to end the video 
here. Uh, again, if I've missed something or if you have any questions about anything, for sure leave a comment below. I actually do answer um, everyone that leaves me a message. It may not be right that very second, but I promise if you leave me a message, you will actually get a reply from me. Good, bad, or ugly, you'll, you'll get a reply. Um, so that's going to be it for the Blink XT review. You guys know the rules. Until I see you next time, stay safe, stay clean, and have a perfect day. Bye.